For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I want to talk about doing linear interpolation between two values. So this is useful. I'll show an example in a moment of doing some color mixing between two color values. Uh, but in its purest form, what you can see here in my little serial output here inside of Atom is I'm running this code on a little cutie pie here, RP2040 cutie pie. And if you look at that output, what's happening is I'm essentially moving a slider between two values in a linear fashion. So you can see I have the starting number, it says reset, and then 123. And then I'm sliding along in these little 0.05 increments up to an end value of 456. So these could be any values that you are sliding between. And the way this works is you can see the most important part here is this little function called LERP, which stands for linear interpolation and takes an argument of a beginning value, an end value, and then t is essentially the slider of where are we along this interpolation between the values. Then in uh, the function when it gets called, uh, in this case it's being called with start, uh, begin at 123, end at 456, and the t initially is at zero, and then that'll increment up. What it returns is that beginning value plus where that slider is times the end value minus the beginning value. So it's a really succinct little function. But what that gives us here is it's printing out, in this case, the uh, slider moving between those. So if I look at a practical example of this, I'm going to unplug that. And this is that little uh, slider code that I have with the interpolation between, in this case, three colors, but it's using that linear interpolation to go from one color to the next in R, G, and B, so it's having multiples of those happen at the same time. And so that is how you can do some very simple linear interpolation inside of CircuitPython, and that is your CircuitPython Parsec.